How much should tipped workers expect to make? That's the big question in Montgomery County. Right now, it's $4 an hour, with the expectation that tips will make up the rest. If a worker doesn't average minimum wage, the restaurant has to pay them the difference. But these employees feel their base pay should be more. Mi nombre es Margarita Espinosa. Restaurant worker Margarita Pinoza says during the pandemic, she often experienced harassment and lost wages. No one should have to go hungry or miss rent because they had a bad night in tips. It's unconscionable. Today, Montgomery County Council Member Will Jawando announced he's co-sponsoring a bill to raise the tipped minimum wage from $4 to $6 next year and increase it another $2 every year for the next five years. It's about providing families um, sustaining wages. Um, it's about um, the fact that one job should be enough. The Restaurant Association of Maryland says it strongly opposes raising the tipped minimum wage and believes servers might actually make less money. The group said in a statement, tipped employees are among the highest earners in full service restaurants, earning a median of $27 per hour, including tips. Restaurants would be forced to impose a service charge on customer checks to cover the substantially higher labor costs. Customers are unlikely to tip on top of service charges. We've already seen some of that playing out in the district, where residents voted last year to raise the tipped minimum wage from $5.35 to $8 an hour. Some would say there's been a lot of confusion in the District of Columbia. Sean Townsend with the Restaurant Association of Metropolitan Washington. He says the cost of doing business has gone up. Many D.C. restaurants are now tacking on extra service fees. When you add on the uh, supply chain issues, uh, inflation, uh, rent these days. It is just a, an additional squeeze on the business owner. Full minimum wage with tips on top. Back in Montgomery County, Councilmember Jawando says he's confident his bill will pass. A, you can pay people a fair wage and still have a thriving restaurant industry. And the Montgomery County Council is scheduled to hold a public hearing on the bill next month. In Rockville, Amy Cho, News 4. Last month, the D.C. Attorney General said he's been getting hundreds of questions about restaurant fees. He put out new guidance to businesses saying they must clearly disclose what the fee is for.